The images you see are all famous influencers, but you might be shocked to know that they are all virtual and unreal, having no physical presence in the real world. They are professionally active on social media and have been able to attract a wide range of fans by publishing creative content such as photos, videos, and engaging posts. These virtual influencers do online marketing and advertising for very big brands and products. They also carry out diverse commercial activities through their own channels for entertainment and profitability purposes and make huge incomes this way. Emma is a Japanese girl with the Instagram page Emma.gram who has a great interest in film, art, and fashion. Emma has around 400,000 followers on Instagram. She receives very large sums in return for the promotional posts she places on her page. She recently launched her own brand called Astro Body. Aitana Lopez is another influencer girl who has very attractive pink hair. Part of her fame is due to this beautiful hair. She is both an athlete and a gamer. Lil Miquela launched her activities in 2016 and has more than 2.6 million followers on Instagram and around 3.4 million TikTok followers. She is a 19-year-old girl with freckles and moles living in Los Angeles. She has contracts with big brands like BMW and Calvin Klein. Lil has 280,000 subscribers on YouTube. These virtual influencers are not limited to girls. Blocko22 is one of the virtual influencer gentlemen who now has 127,000 followers on Instagram and is also active on YouTube. Many of their fans and followers may not yet be aware that they are not real and if you visit the profiles of these people, words such as powered by AI or AI creation or I am virtual or virtual human are included. If we pay attention to this tiny detail, we understand that none of them are real and all their images and videos have been generated using artificial intelligence. They portray themselves as a real human being physically present in this world. Like others, they live, go to restaurants, cinemas or even clubs, party, go shopping and travel. In fact, they do anything a real human can do. The largest source of income for these virtual influencers is through advertising and they receive very large amounts for promoting brand products in their posts. If you are also interested in learning how these virtual influencers are created to stay with me until the end of this video, maybe the next virtual influencer will be yours. Iman Global YouTube Channel Allow me to take a closer look at one of these models on my Instagram page. Mela Sophia has published diverse photos with gestures, clothes and in different places so far, so we should do exactly the same thing. We have a three-step process to develop an AI influencer. In the first step, we create a beautiful face using an AI text-to-image service. In the second step, we create a model in different positions. In the third step, we face swap the images created in the previous step. There are many AI systems with text-to-image capabilities available today, such as Leonardo, Pixart, Freepik, Fodor, Dolly 3, and Runway. In this tutorial, I will be using Leonardo. The general workflow is the same across different text-to-image systems, so you can follow the same process for other AI tools as well. First, visit the Leonardo website. Create a free account, and then log in. The link to access the main services of the site, such as image generation or real-time canvas, is located in the upper section. A piece of good news is that the motion and generative video services are also in the coming soon mode. A bit lower, you can see images generated by Leonardo users. From the left menu, using the image generation link, you can enter the text to image section. On this page, in the central section, you can view images generated by me previously. At the top of this page, there is a text box for entering prompts. In the drop-down menu labeled fine-tuned model, you can choose from different models to create styles and genres for generating images. In the image guidance section, you can upload an image and generate new images based on it. In the free account, you have 150 credits that are recharged daily. In the number of images section, you can specify the output quantity for each generation. In the image dimension section, you can choose the dimensions of the image from presets. A bit lower in the drop-down list, there is control over the aspect ratio. A bit further down, through two sliders, you can customize the length and width for the dimensions of the images. After these explanations, it's time to create the influencer's face. Return to the main page of the site. For ease of use, you can choose one from the images generated by others. I click on one of them. In this section, you can see the prompt used to create this image. By clicking the copy prompt button, 
The prompt is placed in a text box and used for generating the next image. The Image to Image button applies the current image as a reference for creating the next set of images. The Remix button applies all the settings of this image for the next image generation process. With the Download button, you can get the image for free. I click on the Image to Image button. This same image is placed in the Image Guidance section. The prompt and its settings are automatically entered for generating the next image. The Leonardo Diffusion XL model is selected from the Fine Tune Model drop-down list. The number of images is set to 4. The aspect ratio is set to 2 to 3. The dimensions of the image will be 512 by 768. Now, I click on the Generate button. This deducts 8 credits from us. New images are generated, and we review them. If you are not satisfied with the images, click the Generate button again. This deducts another 8 credits from us. We review the new results together. I repeat this process once again. I like this image and choose it. With the download button, you can save this image. Here's a pro tip. I use the alchemy upscaler icon to refine and upscale the images. This can improve faces and hands as part of the process. I click on it. In the new window, I set the refiner strength to high and click the upscale button. After a short time, the image is upscaled. An additional drop-down menu appears, allowing us to view the original and upscaled images separately. I am very satisfied with the upscale result and download it. The first stage is complete, but the important point is that even though we use the reference image, the current image is completely different from the previous ones. In the second stage, we only need diverse poses of a model in various locations such as restaurants, shops, fitness clubs, and other places. Even if the faces are not identical, it doesn't matter because in the third stage, I will teach you the method of changing faces. You can execute this stage in Leonardo or use other artificial intelligences. In this stage, I slightly edit the previous prompt. To have the model in a new outfit and location, I add a new description, such as wearing a blue dress and shopping, to the prompt. Now, I click the generate button again. The images are ready, and I review them, saving one of them. I edit the prompt again. This time, I want the model in a red outfit in a winter scene. The images are ready, and I review them, saving one. Once again, I edit the prompt. Now, I want the model on a comfortable couch wearing yellow. The images are ready, and I review them, saving one. Again, I edit the prompt. This time, I want the model in a gym scene. The images are ready, and I review them, saving one. We continue this process to generate poses and outfits for the model in various locations. The second stage is complete. Don't worry if the faces are not similar. I have a solution for that in the next stage. Stay tuned. In the second stage, I will teach you the face swap method using a Discord bot. Easily change the faces of any model to another face through a Discord bot. To do this, visit the Discord website and create a free user account. First, we need to create a server. Click on the plus icon in the left menu, labeled that a server. In the new window, click on the friends option. In the next step, click on for me and my friends. Now come up with a name for the server. Click on the create button. Our server is created, and now we need to add the face swap bot to it. I have provided the link to the bot in the description section of this tutorial on YouTube. Copy and paste this link into the text box at the bottom of the page. Now, press the enter button. Once the link is added to Discord, click on it. In the new window, click on the continue button. Then click on authorize. Confirm that you are not a robot. Now, click on the go to button to go to your personalized bot in Discord. In the prompt text box, type slash save it and click on the command in the drop down list. In the ID name section, enter the name my model. Then, click on the image thumbnail icon to upload the original model's image. We press the enter key and wait for the image to be uploaded. After that, click on the positive sign icon next to the prompt box. Use the upload a file option to upload the image for face swap. Now, right click on the uploaded image, and from the drop down menu, click on apps, then choose IN swapper. The face swap process quickly completes, and the face of the original model is placed onto the new image. You can repeat this process for all your images and perform face swap using the same method.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider showing your love by donating to our channel using the super thanks button located below each video. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Feel free to leave your comments or suggestions below. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to see you in the next video.